Hey everyone, uh, here's another homestead meal that we just made today. And we had collards, and there was an amendment to the recipe later. I want you to remember, we added a, t uh, we forgot to mention a teaspoon of sugar, and then also a cup of chicken broth. Those are the only things we forgot to mention. But in this recipe, we're, we're gonna do collards, homemade collards straight from the garden. We had a salad that was butter, nut crunch, I think it's called, and uh, red leaf lettuce, and even kale. And then we uh, had chicken legs that were from the store that was on sale today. I love to just cook chicken legs. They're super easy. And we had a couple uh, ingredients for seasonings that we used, but we just uh, you know cooked them in the oven today instead of the grill. Temperature's dropping rapidly out there, and I didn't want to mess with the grill. so. This was like a quick and dirty uh, uh, meal, but uh, fantastic, fantastic home cooking. So I hope you enjoy it. I wanted to show you, my collards were kind of mixed in here with the broccoli, but my broccoli definitely has some heads that are starting to come in. So I came in here and uh, plucked a lot of the leaves, but they'll keep growing out of the middle. And so they're all interspersed in here. What I may do is move some of the, uh, remove some of the broccoli leaves so they have a chance to kind of grow in here. My lettuce is uh, kind of all falling over, but we have gotten a lot of lettuce out of here. It's fantastic. And here's the peas. The peas are finally starting to take off a little bit. I probably was late getting these peas going. But the funny thing is I got a cucumber plant that uh, was a volunteer and it's doing well. There's a pea right there. Let's go and pull that off. You see that? It may not be ripe yet. Let's come around the back. I cleaned a bunch of peas off the other day and just stood out here eating them as I was picking them because they were just so sweet. I don't see any more peas. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, I don't think these are mature yet, but they are super sweet when they're like this. I didn't share with Barb this time. Anyways, first time I've uh, planted some peas. Here's one right there. Oh, here's a couple. Seems like uh, this is probably nature's design to have them the same color but it seems like uh, it'd be a lot easier if you had like red pea pods so that you could see them because I walked right by that and didn't see it. Anyways, spinach is still not thriving so I must not have had the right nutrients or something. I got to look into that. I'm not seeing anything coming up yet for my oh, garlic. Is that a garlic right there? Yep, I got a garlic coming up right there. rain's been excellent. I got to get in here with some uh, mulch. Let's see if I got any of my onions coming up. Oh yeah, onions are coming up everywhere. These are my Egyptian walking onions that I planted. I planted like 80 of them in here, so this is going to be a huge bed. I kind of see them everywhere, so those are doing fantastic. I don't see any heads yet for my cauliflower. My tomato plants are looking really sickly, but we've just had non-stop rain, so it gets up that fungus and I don't spray. Let's see if we got any. Oh yeah, we gotta pick some kale too, I forgot. I need to pull some of those off. Do I got any cabbage heads yet? I think there's a head trying to grow in there, so that's good. Normally, I try to do cabbage in the spring and it does not work. The bugs get to them before I even have a chance to get a cabbage head out. All right, things are coming together. I'm happy. I got another whole bed of collards over here. The collards cook down so much, you'd be surprised how much you pick and it just makes a couple meals. So these are kind of immature still. These were planted a couple weeks later, but this is a whole bed of collards. 
probably should go ahead and plant that bed as collards, but this is not a morning sun place, so it's not optimal. All right, let me get back inside. All right, it's time to uh, cook up some collards from my garden here. And these leaves are huge. So I took a basket, we've got one of these uh, baskets here and I filled it up and I've already been uh, working on a few of these, but basically the first thing you do is you tear the leaves off of that uh, stem there. So I've already got quite a few here, you see. That's the one thing you don't need. And after you do that, then we're gonna tear these into some smaller pieces or cut them into squares, something like that. Uh, and then we're going to uh, kind of pan fry some onions and some bacon and and uh, get a pot of water boiling and boil this up. It's a super simple recipe, but this is a southern favorite. Okay, after you pull the stems off, then what I do is I stack a bunch of them and then I cut them like this, and then I come back and cut them this way so we make little squares. All right, I just wanted to show you, see how these are uh, squares? They're about inch square. And I'm working my way down the uh, pile here. And that's a pile of lettuce we just picked too. But anyway, so we just keep doing this. You won't believe, even though this looks like a lot, it cooks down really fast. So over here we have a bunch of uh, Godbag onions and uh, bacon. And then over here, she just did some, uh, what do you call it? Yes. Roasted sweet potatoes, and I'm telling you, these are amazing. These are my sweet potatoes from the garden. Anyways, I ended up uh, processing all of those collards, and I've got, I would guess, about a gallon container here over the top. And this will cook down to nothing. Now, as far as the sweet potatoes, it's actually a simple recipe. Since these came out of the garden, obviously you got to rinse the uh, sweet potatoes off and then you peel them and then she just uh, chunked them up and then you put a little bit of olive oil and then she used uh, seasoned salt. Okay. About 30 minutes at 400. And then we've got chicken legs going on in here and oop, it just kind of fogged up the lens. Chicken legs uh, basically you do a little bit of spray pan and then she used this uh, butt rub seasoning that we have. Let me show you what that is. This was something we got at Sam's Club and this is fantastic. This works on everything. We love that. That's perfect for, uh, perfect for our uh, recipe. And then I had to pick a whole bunch more tomatoes today because we're going down in the 40s for the next couple days and again with lots of rain and didn't want them to split and then I got uh, kind of the last of my peppers because they're starting to get uh, hurt a little bit by the cold weather what happens is it uh, turns them dark colored that's not from the Sun that's from cold and I got a lot of my bell peppers off so my garden's probably just about over, at least for the uh, summer stuff. But I got lots of uh, lettuce and collards and broccoli, and then hopefully my Brussels sprouts will get done before the uh, get super cold. And then I think I also have some spinach and cauliflower. Well, that's a lot of lettuce right there. But you know, this is the time of year where. You're trying to take advantage of what you can grow in the cold. In fact, I was telling Barb that hill on my back over there, I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant collards along there because they'll grow pretty much all winter. I had uh, collards last year pretty much all winter. Now for the uh, collards, after you get the onions and the bacon kind of sauteed, you add water and then you just start adding the collards and as they uh, start cooking in they'll shrink down and you just keep adding until it's all combined hopefully that's a big enough pot we probably should have used the stew pot i have in there but you'll be surprised it shrinks a lot i know it's hard to imagine but that one gallon container fit in this pot i didn't uh, i didn't remember that, that was what was going to happen but it did 
That is all of the uh, collards in this pot. I don't even know what size this container is, but is that even the right lid? I guess it is. So anyways, this is cooking down. How long do you cook it? Let's say a total of 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes you boil it, and then we're good to go. All right, here's the final product. We've got chicken legs, collards, and then sweet potatoes. I'd like to say the chicken legs were from my uh, chickens, but these actually were at the store marked down. They had to be sold today, and I'm like, I love stuff that's half price. So I grabbed it, and we just cooked it, and I'll be eating on that all week, especially with all this stuff. So anyways, uh, and even a salad. Everything's from our garden except for the cheese there and dressing. All right, this is Homestead Cooking, folks. All right, hope everybody's treating you well. I hope you're doing well. Do the best you can. God bless.